tools Yo, let me hit you with my ill street blues Bust the rhyme, the wings that lines and street in Don't be crazy Sell my seven seats and then join my moon I know you really wanna know who Coming through, leaving blunt, stay different than you Sorry, homeboy, but your flow sound blues Got to pay your dues, baby, you know the rules Whenever I travel the world, I land through If you choose to fuck around, you get rules Now I got two gas on super unlimited fuels Give me room, give me some space, your excuse When I step up in the place, take up my step to rest I'm Amy. And I am Benji Boko. Okay. Um, so how, how do you think your set went? We thought it was awesome. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it very much. Took off my shoes, got sweaty. Um, started a mosh pit, but then the bouncers decided to break it off, which I was a little bit disappointed about, but hey ho. No, you could tell the crowd were just loving you completely. They were going wild in there, literally. Wow, thank you. Yeah, that was good. I, to be honest, I'm sort of so focused on like crowd and like my gear because there's so much going on. I there don't, is a lot of gear there, isn't there? I know, it's ridiculous. It's like a NASA space station or something. So I spend so much time going like that. I wish I could spend a little bit more time going like that. But I get a good balance, but it's good to have a bit of feedback. So thanks. We were loving the old school stuff. I really like the way you slipped a bit of Nirvana in there. Yeah, yeah, there's pretty much everything in there. There was some Thomas the Tank Engine, some... Some Rocky. Some Rocky, some... Uh, sweet bit of Countdown, I noticed Countdown, that. Like that. Rocky, countdown, Rocky, Sweet Home you. Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everything. Everything you can imagine under one roof. A sweet shop. So, what would you say your musical influences are? Um, probably Fatboy Slim, Cold Cut, Yoda, Prodigy, um, Blimey. I can't, now I feel like I've been put on the spot. I don't know, Mike Myers, Quincy Jones, Tommy Cooper, they ain't just musical influences. <laughs> a little it's bit of comedy injection right there. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, whatever, it's an, always an, it's an influence, whether it's comedy or music or film or, you know, it's just, you know, being inspired by things, you know, it's my set, I like to put movie samples in there and comedy samples and Martin Luther King and Run DMC and some Disney samples and stuff and, you know, it just makes it a little bit more diverse. There's know? actually something in there for everyone, I love it. From five to fifty, yeah. A little bit political, yeah. a little bit musical, a little bit emotional. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what age you are, exactly. What made you want to get into the whole DJ scene? I don't know. Just I remember. I think I just remember collecting theme tunes on my computer and stuff, and always wanting to somehow mix them and stuff. And then I heard Yoda, and I was like, wow, fuck, someone's actually doing it. So yeah, I don't know. Just a really a love of music and film music. That's it. Any films in particular that inspired you, like Quentin Tarantino stuff, things like that? Do you like that? Oh my god, yeah. Rocky. Yeah. Yes. There's pretty, oh my god, I mean, all the Jim Carrey films, Mike Myers, and. Oh, I'm trying to look at my DVD collection on my wall now, <laughs> but I've just moved and it's all out of order. And I like everything to be in order, so I can't reference it because I've got a really visual memory. So, I don't know, just every film, that, you know, from like. 70, 80 to like 95 sort of period. I love all those ones. So are you a local boy or are you from like London way? You could say local. I'm from Brighton, so I'm local in this nice. sort of region. But um, yeah, I've lived in Brighton all my life. I went to uni in Leeds uh, about three years ago and graduated and now I've just moved back to Brighton. Did you get to do any sets up in Leeds? Yeah, yeah. I was DJing in a club in Leeds called Hi-Fi for about three years which is pretty much where I learned my skill. And then I decided, right, okay, I want to open this book up and do something different. And, you know, everyone was, everyone just DJs. And I wanted to do something different. I wanted to be able to chop the tunes up live and, and doing something for three years that's, that's the same or slightly evolved. One, you know, you, you, you just, I just feel compelled or felt compelled to do something completely different and just remix live. And the whole show is a live, improvised remix show so I've got acapellas and samples and instrumentals and drums and I can pick and mix and choose them as I want so it's a little bit more um, when I look back now on what I did back then and it was just basic mixing and now this is complicated mixing uh, makes me feel makes me feel good to how far I've come Definitely. so thanks very high now we're loving you here literally your set was amazing like I've not danced around that much all weekends literally I feel out of breath completely and we've seen Peter Andre so you know that's you've seen thing. him 
You've seen him. I've seen him live. Here. Yeah, I've been searching for the instrumental of Mysterious Girl for a long time. Oh, please do something with that, please. So if anyone's got it, email it to me. Peter, if you're joking. out there. Peter, Andre, a message to you. Can I please have the instrumental to Mysterious Girl for a mashup, please? Thank you. Wicked. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Nice Cheers. Pleasure. Oh, <laughs> no, it's like New Year's Eve. It's beautiful. Yeah.